Today I'm going to show you how to finish off the screw top bottles and I realized in the last tutorial I didn't show you all how to make um, the caps for our bottles. So I call this thing the cap when really it is the thing on top of the bottle that you screw the cap down into. And the way you make this is if you guys already have your thread prepared, you just take the circle tool or whatever shape you want to use and then you're going to drag one out from the origin but please make sure that this is grouped beforehand. So I'm going to lay down a circle right here. I'm then going to extrude this upwards, not all the way to the top, but let's say to here. I'm then going to explode both objects, highlight everything again, and then intersect the faces with the model. And what I like to do to begin is delete the bottom portion. You'll see that immediately inside that circular shape, the thread pattern is there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete the excess parts on the top. Delete that face. And then gradually I'm going to work around my model with the eraser tool and delete those parts of the thread that I no longer need. Be very careful as you clean up your model so you're not deleting any type of face that you need to maintain the, the shape and also your mesh. Once you've created your cap, you need to scale it upwards, otherwise the uh, thread isn't going to fit in it. So you highlight the whole thing, select scale, and then from the top most point, start dragging outwards. And the dimensions that I've found that work are 1.08 or 1.07, so I'm going to stop right there. And there's my completed cap. Make sure you solid inspect your work as well. I'm going to go ahead and create the bottle now. And the easiest way to do this is to select the bottom most point or bottom most face on your cap. Take the move tool, hold down option to make a copy and drag it off to the side. This will allow us to make the top of our bottle the correct thickness for um, each of those upper walls. So I'm then going to fill this circle in. We'll see why I'm going to do this in a second. I'm just going to create an X pattern. I'm going to delete this away. And in order to establish the midpoint, I need to create a cross in my circle. So, here we go. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm then going to take a line and I'm going to draw down from the midpoint of my circle a certain distance, and that's going to be the length of my bottle. I will then take the rectangle tool and I'll create a face that I can draw on you want this to be a vertical face. So this is looking pretty good right here. I'm going to start by working on the bottom walls or the bottom floor of my bottle. So I'm going to create a line. And I'm going to do this quickly. If you want to do a curved bottle, you would take the two-point arc. You can slowly start creating those walls. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Just some so movement, and then I'll just create a curve right here. And this is going to be a very quirky bottle. I have this here. And then I will go ahead and begin moving upwards, you know, stylizing my bottle a little bit. So I need something that's of the correct thickness for the cap to fit on top of it. So I'm going to measure the distance of my cap, the thickest edge. And it just has to be a general estimate. You'll see that that's around 368 millimeters. What that means is that I'm going to want the distance up here to be about 360. So I'm going to start dragging out a line, type in 360, enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to complete my bottle now. To lead away all the extra faces aside from the profile which is used to make up your bottle. Also to lead away the cross pattern you made in your circle. So when you cl click on the perimeter of the circle it highlights everything. You'll then go to tools, follow me, click that profile, you'll see that a bottle appears. You can then delete away that top circle which was used for the follow me. And because it's dark gray you're going to need to reverse those faces so make sure you run a solid inspector and then you know, fix all those reversed faces. There's the bottle. Now that my uh, bottle, cap, and screw are created, I've grouped them all. And then I'm going to begin exporting these as STL files individually. So I'm first going to export the screw by deleting this and deleting this. I'm going to File, Export STL, 
export. So I'm going to call this um, video screw. We'll put this on the desktop. And then I'm going to undo those actions earlier. I'm going to do the same thing for the cap. File, export, export, video cap, desktop. And the same step for the bottle. File, export, export, video bottle to desktop. And then just put everything back. All those STL files will now be on the desktop right here and ready for me to put together in MeshMixer.